I'm here to discuss business <clears throat> with you, Mr. Solomons. Whoa! Man was for fun and fucking in it, so. Whiskey. All right. That is the business. Let's talk first, mate. Eh? Who's yourself? They say you had your life saved by a policeman. Half policeman on my payroll. Well, I don't like policemen because policemen, they can't be trusted. Mr. Sabini uses policemen all the time. That's why he's winning the war in London. And you are losing it. War ain't over till it's over, mate. You win the war. Once carried out my own personal form of stigmata on an Italian. I pushed his face up against the trench and shoved a six inch nail up his fucking nose and I hammered it home with a duck board. It was fucking biblical, mate. So don't come in here and sit there in my chair and tell me that I'm losing my war to a fucking wop. That war was a long time ago. You need to be more realistic. Realistic, yeah. Realistic. Well, if you weren't losing the war, then you wouldn't uh, send me the telegram. Really? You forget your fucking telegram. Your telegram is just said hello. It's very simple. You want to sell me something. What? We join forces. Fuck off. No. Categorical. Fucking ridiculous. Mr. Solomons, your distillery provides one tenth of your income. Protection is another ten percent of the rest you make from the rice trucks. I know you keep a gun in the drawer. I know you keep it beside the whiskey. I know you offer a deal or death. solution. You say Mr. Sabini is running all your bookies off your courses <clears throat> and he's closing down the premises that take your room and people don't trust your protection anymore. You're the bloke who shot Billy Kimball, right? You did, you fucking shot him. That's you. You fucking betrayed him, mate. So it would be entirely appropriate to do what I'm thinking in my head to you right now. I can offer you a hundred good men, all with weapons, and a new relationship with the police. Intelligence. Intelligence is a very valuable thing, isn't it, my friend? And usually it comes far too fucking late. They say that I shot you already, right? In the fucking face. And the bully goes bone mush bone cabinet over there. Which is a shame, isn't it? Because that cabinet's fucked now and I've got to get shot of it. So, what I do is this. It's fucking simple, mate. I cut that cabinet in half the night. I do. I literally, I just cut the cabinet. I cut. cut the cabinet literally in half, mate. And I take one half of the cabinet, right, and I put it into a barrel. And I take the other half of the cabinet in all its pieces and I put that into another barrel, right? And I send this barrel off to Mandalay and the other barrel off to somewhere like, I don't know, Timbuktu. Have you ever been? No. No? Would you like to go? No. You know, I always thought that you'd have a great big fucking gold ring in your nose. 